guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a look at Upper Mobile 10 Beta, which was just released. This is an update to Upper Mobile 9.5, which is really the flagship browser for Windows Mobile that comes pre-installed on a lot of devices, especially those from HTC. It really beats out Internet Explorer Mobile in terms of rendering fidelity, speed, and some other features. And now version 10 really tries to build on that with a lot of new features. So let's take a look at how it works. It is a beta, so it's a little bit buggy. You probably want to run this in parallel to another browser like Opera Mobile 9.5, Skyfire, or, or whatever other browser you use because it's not completely stable. And let's start it up. First thing you'll notice is that it starts up in about two or three seconds. Opera Mobile 9.5 starts up in about five, six seconds, which may seem like an eternity if you're trying to quickly get to a website. So right off the bat here, we have a panel of six websites that you can add to that you go to on a regular basis, kind of like Google Chrome. So we can tap the plus button, we can select from our favorites, or we can just type in address in manually, and then it will ask you if you want to add a thumbnail, and then it'll try to pull from the website a small little thumbnail. Although this is Google, it didn't come out so so nice. Uh, hopefully when it comes out of beta, you will see a nicer thumbnail. So let's go through some of the features. Let's first start by loading up a web page, and let me check if Opera Turbo is turned on. We're going to go through this screen in a second. It is turned on. Let me turn it off just so you can compare. We're over Wi-Fi right now, and I'm going to go to pocketnow.com. Now, because this is not a native application, it doesn't tap into the accelerometer, so we don't get to have landscape pages. Also, this is running on the HD2 right now. We don't have pinch to zoom. Opera Mobile 9.7 was built specifically for uh, the HD2, and it was integrated so well that pinch to zoom worked, but not the case in 10. So we had this load pretty darn fast, actually. Uh, like I said, we can't pinch to zoom, but we can double tap to zoom in. It goes in really fast. Looks like it's trying to load something right now. And what's really interesting about Opera Mobile 10 is that you don't get the checkerboard pattern anymore like you would in 9.5. So let's kind of get around on the screen a little bit and see what it looks like to, to move around. And let's click on a link. All right, and here it comes. That was about seven seconds, and we can scroll down. It doesn't support flash, of course. Uh, we can double tap to zoom in, but note how Opera Mobile 10 kind of formats the page weird. This text should flow all the way to the side here, but it only goes to the left side of the column. That's probably a bug with the beta. It kind of keeps the text shrunken over here. So to zoom in, as you just saw, when you double tap to zoom out, you press this button down here. Oddly, double tapping again doesn't zoom out, so you have to press the button down here. It's not too big of a deal. Let's open up a new tab. Opera Mobile 10 now has a really cool way to manage tabs. You can press the plus button right here. And let's go to, actually, let's just go to Wikipedia. That's an easy one. And here is Wikipedia. That was about seven or eight seconds. And now we can kind of pan between Pocket Now and Wikipedia. We can actually see a little preview without actually going directly into the website. Then you tap again to get the tab panel to go down. Really cool design. Let's open up an, another website and see how it does when there are multiple sites open. Let's open up Engadget and we'll go to the, the full site. Okay, so that was pretty quick. And again, notice how the text is kind of formatted strangely. I'm going to flick really fast down the page, and you're going to notice that it really redraws the screen almost instantly. It doesn't even look like it's redrawing it. It's just there. And we can double tap to zoom in. We can pan around on the screen. Very nice. And we can tap on a headline to go to the next page. And that came through quite fast, but again, the formatting is very, very much off here. So we're going to zoom out and let's see how these multiple websites do, how fast they come up. Pretty fast. And you get this nice animation down here. So let's take a look at the settings that you can change in Opera Mobile 10 beta. We can hit the wrench down here and we get some options. We can find a word in a page, which is kind of like pressing Control F on your keyboard in a desktop web browser. You can check out the history, 
go to bookmarks, or in our case, we're gonna go to settings. Not much you can change here. You can have it load images, turn on Opera Turbo, which we're going to do. This uses server-side rendering to increase page load times, kind of like Skyfire. It doesn't work as well, but it increases load times a little bit, and full screen mode. And what you're gonna see is that full screen mode nicely hides uh, the top address bar and the bottom bar, and you can hide it or bring it out again by pressing that button. Let's close the program and open it up again just so we know that Opera Turbo is indeed going to be on. And then we'll try loading a site that we've already loaded before to see if it's faster. Really fast load time. Let me just confirm that we still have Opera Turbo on, and we do. So let's go to pocketnow.com now and see if there's any increase in page load time. Before it was about 10 seconds. Okay, that was about eight seconds. It's not completely done. I think it's trying to load some additional page elements. It was a little bit faster. Let's uh, click on one link just to sort of uh, just to sort of have a better indication. And it's kind of lagging right now. Um, here it comes with the page that we just clicked on. And here it is, a little bit faster, but not really that significant. I would probably leave Opera Turbo turned off. So overall, we like where Opera is going with Opera Mobile 10. We think it's a really good step up from 9.5 once they work out the bugs. It's really great how fast it turns on, how there's no checkerboard now, although sometimes you get white spots. The interface is cleaned up, the tab management is better. Just a step in the right direction. We're really looking forward to future builds of this that take away some of these bugs that cause the program to freeze kind of on a regular basis when you use it, depending on what device you use. The program is free to try right now. We'll put a link up on Pocket now com to tell you how to get it. We'd also like to see these rendering issues kind of fix themselves a little bit uh, because they don't look quite right when you're zoomed out. That's it for now.